I've tried cooling down, it's really hot in the UK, and I've barely slept. I think I had like three hours sleep in the last 48 hours, so you, you can you can, you can imagine the pain, okay? I, I, I'm tired, and I just want to admire these skins with you, okay? So if you're relaxing today and you're watching this video, I hope you enjoy what you're witnessing today with the skins, and of course, I'll be letting you know about the winners of the giveaway soon enough. I'll be reaching out to the winners of that who haven't actually been chosen yet. It gets chosen at random for the 50,000 V-Book giveaway for last month, if you are wondering what I'm on about. We might start another one soon enough. I'll, I'll let you all know, and don't worry, just follow my social medias, all that good stuff, and you'll be kept up to date. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is a emote, which is called Bring It On. Now, I'm pretty sure we haven't seen this one already. If I have, then I've missed it, and, you know, well... I don't remember seeing it at all. So this one looks really, really cool. You can obviously spin these around. You can zoom in on them and stuff as well, which is well cool. You can get right up in personal. It's like, hey, come here, boy. I uh, I have a problem with you, boy. Come here, boy. <laughs> which is uh, wicked. And they, they always run on the default skins when they're showing these new emotes. And then we have the actual skins we can look at as well. And some of them are so cool. Some people will freak out and probably just be like, give me a few bucks. I want to buy them now. This one is a little cringy. Um, to, you know, to say the least, this is the dab. And it's not just one dab. It's infinite dabs. Infinite dabs. And this is the sound file attached to it. Are, are you prepared for this? This is what an infinite dab soundtrack sounds like. Right, that's enough. Can't take it. It's getting distorted. God damn the dab. As proof these are leaked items, this is of course the Eagle, which we now have and you might have purchased yourself. If you did, then you're joining me with that. I did actually purchase this. It's a, it's quite a daft one. I don't know how much I'll end up using it, but this is also in here with the showcase of 3D items. Just to showcase that the other ones I'm gonna show you are legit. We have this very wonderful True Heart emote, which is uh, very fancy, it's gonna very much suit uh, the brighter, colourful characters in the game. Let's hear what the sound file is. I actually haven't heard this myself. Let's hear. Okay. Very magical. Now let's take a look at the Oblivion outfit. This is amazing this looks so cool and this is the one a lot of people are going to be wanting to see you've got these like parts entrances into the suit here you've on, on the breastplate you've got some more on the back here as well you've got fine details all around the helmet you've got like what looks like a laser light sort of thing going on here i don't know if we can get inside the head or well, we can go inside the head to a degree you can't really see much it's a little bit empty in there <laughs> um we also have the nice details on the arm as well we got the booty, which is, uh, oh, it's just, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we got the lights as well, which you're going to be able to see on the, the legs as well, and on the backs of the character. You're going to be able to change these lights most likely and customize them, just like we did on the Omega. So hopefully we can change these to, you know, blue, green, purple, whatever colors you guys really want. You've also got them on the back of the ankles as well. This is the one that everyone's going to want to purchase because it's just, it looks so good. It's slim fit, it's nice looking. If it's customizable, it's gonna sell even more. There are three different detective skins, and this is one of them. This guy's clearly been punched in the nose. He's got the, you know, he's got like something on his nose, if you can take a look. And he's also got the same wanted poster. I can't seem to zoom in on his nose for some reason. I can't zoom on it. You can see his nose right there though. Look, he's got like a, a little bridge sort of thing on it. He's also got the same poster in his pocket that says wanted as what the other guy has as well. You've got the buttons on the jacket. You've also got this button and I really don't know what this button does. Maybe it does something magical. What happens when he pushes that button? We are yet to find out. He, find out. He's got such a, a sheriff sort of thing going on here. We've got like a, you know, a very ugly tie, not liking the tie very much. We've got nothing else, nothing's hidden under his jacket. We've got the, you know, the standard marks on the trousers. We've got the very clean, smart, professional business looking shoes. And of course, the scary looking hitman gloves. So this guy is pretty serious and he looks like he's a bit of a brawler. So I wouldn't be messing him with this detective. This is the female detective and not going to lie, this is awesome. She is a wonderful looking character. Details, once again, are pretty similar. You've got the gray outfit. You've got the, you know, this one's got marks down in her trousers. You've also got, you know, the straps on the back which go up over the top of the braces the, the you've obviously got the nice purple 
uh, you know, tied, looks a lot nicer. You've got the badge on, on her belt right here. You've also got the button once again, slightly different color, kind of goes with the nice, you know, mahogany sort of tone. Really not sure what that does once again. The buttons leading into, you know, kind of dodgy, scary looking gloves once again. If we zoom up this way, we can see obviously you've got the, is this, is it called a Fedora hat? I think I, I might be wrong. Don't, don't cru uh, crucify me there. We've got a nice little bow on it. She's obviously got the ginger, the red look to her. She's got the glasses as well. This is a very smart looking character and she also has nice blue eyes and yeah it's just a really nice looking character this one i think my friend solely will probably end up purchasing this one without a doubt this will probably be her favorite character of all time now if you thought the first male character was looking pretty serious this guy just looks terrifying he looks a lot a, a lot more terrifying this though is very interesting if you've noticed in the pocket he is going after the other detective so there's a detective going after another detective and the interesting fact about it is once again they've got the same badge they've got the same sort of button on the side they've just got like a different jacket nothing changes here they've got different colors of uh, shoes and trousers obviously the jacket's different a nicer looking tie so this guy looks like quite you know i don't know maybe maybe he's a baddie maybe he's just a bad guy who's maybe working with the villains but in his pocket as you can see here you've got the you know the one that looked a little bit more friendly compared to this fellow in his pocket and on the other guy which we'll look at again in a second it has this guy that we're currently looking at in his pocket so they're obviously arch em uh, enemies to some degree so if we zoom in on this guy's pocket again you can see look there so they are clearly not liking each other they want to hunt each other down which is just mind-boggling i really don't know how this one's gonna pan out for the 4th of july we have three different outfits that they're going to release including this one which is the cuddle team leader which is uh, quite scary to be fair nice mix of colors but it kind of looks like someone's dipped her in paint and then just kind of colored her in so you've got the the pouch and the, the trousers obviously this is just the trousers leading up and they're looking like a pouch sort of thing going on here we've got the We've got the belt that goes all the way around the back obviously you've got the fur effect you've got the design that's go around the back of the leg down behind the knees as well like into the knee pad uh you've got the shoes as well which are uh, pretty cool actually to be fair they look really really cool we also have this on her arm as well which just says xoxo which just uh kisses and, and cuddles uh hence the cuddle team leader um we also have the same on the face we've got the split down through in the teddy's head and we also have the scary looking mouth which just creeps us out and the very stiff eyeballs that just do not change we also have some buttons on the back of the head which we can see just there i don't know if there's anything inside this head let's go inside this head so there is actually a head inside oh well then it's a is this a lady or a guy i can't see i think that's a i think it's a lady whoa we're inside the mouth ah this is getting cool <laughs> Right, so we get it. So this is one of the, the three that you're going to get for the 4th of July. We have the Star Spangled Trooper. I believe that's the name of this one. Very default looking skin, but the color scheme looks pretty cool. And it brings to life the default within this character. It's one of the similar ones to the legendary heroes that you can get in Save the World at this moment in time by completing one of the quest lines. I actually have it. You have to set off a bunch of fireworks and save the world. And you get this character and you get the one we're going to look at in a second. And this one is obviously just the female version of it. And I just really... Really prefer this one once again there's the same kind of sort of color scheme but it just feels a lot nicer there's not as much really going on with the outfit so it feels a lot less busy and if we look on the arm of it if we zoom in on it there's not really much going on there again it's just same to the cuddle team leader it's, it's pretty basic with the same knee pads and outfits just obviously with the cuddle team leader the top half is is a teddy bear now the final skin i have for you is the criterion now this copies pretty much the omega or the, the the female version of the omega which is the oblivion it's got very similar styles it's just got a slightly different outfit in the sense of the color and less on the arms obviously we've got different things going on here with the the actual art like the wrist and then leading into the arm the different shapes of blades going up the side here we also have like less going on with the legs and i don't think we'll be able to change the colors on this one but we don't know until we actually get it because there are lights that go on the back of here and on the ankles they're just in slightly different places i really like these blades that pop off the back of this character it looks wicked and once again this one's probably just an airhead if we zoom inside of it yeah once again it's just empty there's nothing in there it's like very robotic but this is a very very cool skin so if you don't like the oblivion which is the female version of the omega this is the one that you could also go for 
if you just want an alternate version and need like a different color scheme. I hope you've enjoyed this close up look at the skins that are coming to the game and we might as well finish with this. This is what we were talking about. I'll be covering more storyline sort of things in season five or at least the lead up to it and entering straight into season five. This is one of the things I discussed a little while ago where we have the detective's backpack and you can see obviously the footprint and what looks like Dusty Divot and Moisty Meyer as well. So we can actually have a really up close personal look at the effect of this one. And it it looks really really cool with the light bulbs and kind of some crazy thing going on with the, some scales and all sorts of graphs and whatnot it's uh, very mad indeed and i really do hope that you've appreciated this video i love this website the fact that i get to see what a character looks like from all angles before purchasing it this is absolutely incredible thank you for watching guys hope you have a wonderful day and let me know in the comments below what skins you purchase take care peace